Damn, man. That's some beautiful weather right there. It's gonna be a good day, man. Gotta start the day off. When it first hit, gets you in the sun, man. Look who we have here. Is the other way? To be done? Yeah, I'll wait a bit more. Okay. We're gonna make a. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dad brought some goodies, man. Oh, shit. I ordered a barbell, but it's not in yet. So this is like a temporary one. Oh, shit. Watch the back, watch the back, the deadlift, remember. Yeah! There you go. <laughs> Sick! You don't have to lift arms. <laughs> that is an absolute beast. So at the moment, this is the only livable little space in my house. Obviously also the most important one. And now we're gonna build a, like a book closet. That should be doable. I thought I needed his help to build something, but it's, it's, it's already done. Oh man. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, just... Choose. You can choose. It's done within a few minutes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. And now it's part for the real deal. The most important piece of the puzzle in my house at the moment. My life at the moment. The little home gym, right? But before I do that, I want to do a little throwback to yesterday when I recorded one of my home workouts, which is a shoulder and arms workout with dumbbells only. And I thought this would be cool to share with you guys. So you can try this out at home yourself as well. So I've been able to pick up some dumbbells. Pretty much everything is sold out. These were the only ones I could get my hands on. And they are adjustable dumbbells up to 15 kilos per side. So that's not super heavy, but it's heavy enough to you know, be able to get a really good workout in with actually, if you just use it the right way. Um, so one method I'm using here is pre-exhaustion. First of all, I'm doing some side raises because with 15 kgs, that's decently heavy for an isolation lift, right? So that is one way to make the compound lift a bit harder. And then also obviously, you know, target more of the side delt, which I think is an extremely aesthetic muscle. And I always highly focus on that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guy that's my size with 15 kg dumbbell overhead presses, that is not super heavy, right? But one way to also increase the load on your muscles here and make this heavier is by doing the Arnold press. This is an exercise that is harder than the regular shoulder press, right? So as you can see, I twist it here inside when I come down and then, you know, go explode back up. And I also do all the reps very slowly, right? Really controlling the weight and doing it slowly, making sure all the muscles are properly working. And then, you know, those are the two exercises to do for delts, plus the third one, which is for, you know, the rear delt. Very important muscle, never neglect this. You can also, if you don't have dumbbells, train your rear delts with bands, all right? That's what bands are very good for, but this is definitely an exercise you never wanna skip out on. So what I'm doing here is just a regular rear delt dumbbell flies. And here I actually dropped a bit of the weight because 15 kgs is too heavy on those for me because then I already start sacrificing my form and then I'll start to become more like a row movement, all right? And I wanna like isolate my rear delts there. So I don't wanna use too much weight. So that's it for the shoulders, all right? But five sets on each exercise, so three exercises, and then, you know, two more exercises uh, for biceps as well as two for triceps, uh, but super setting those to save some time. Also kind of wanted to hit a quick workout on this particular day. Didn't have that much time because I was super busy. So if you want to try out this particular workout at home, you're not going to be training one and a half hours with this, right? So what I'm doing here next, I'm grabbing a chair so I can sit down, right? In this right position so that I can do a concentration curl. This is what's going to make the weight a lot heavier because a standing hammer curl is like 15 kgs is not heavy enough for me. It doesn't provide a lot of stimulus. But 15 kgs on a concentration hammer curl, to be honest, 
that is pretty heavy. And that's just another way to create more tension here, right? So supersetting that with the overhead dumbbell extension, sometimes like with different chairs or whatever, like equipment you have at home, uh, first of all, you gotta kind of get the hang of it. Some chairs don't work that well, you know, or like, you might not even have dumbbells, all right? But if you don't, you can use water bottles or you can use any other type of thing that, you know, weighs enough to create some stimulus, guys. Be creative in these times, all right? And that last superset here is, you know, the dumbbell curl, keeping my hands at the same position. I'm doing two hands at the same time because I'm doing a bunch of reps and otherwise the set just takes up way too much time, all right? And then last exercise, I do a lying skull crusher. This is 100% my favorite for triceps at the moment uh, when I'm training at home and like I don't have a dip belt or anything like that. With just dumbbells, in my opinion, this is the absolute key, lying skull crushers. Just, you know, flat on the floor. It's awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun right now in about 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna announce the winners, uh, me and Fianna together, of the New Year Transformation Challenge and we're gonna hand out 1,000 euros in cash because that's what the winner takes. It's gonna be live on Instagram. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, there's gonna be two more winners next to that as well. So, um, you know, this is always like the most fun thing to do. What is going on guys? Moran here. First place, it's gonna take 1,000 euros. Patrick, are you watching? Patrick, congratulations. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna send everything uh, your way. We got your address. A uh, very special winner as well. Three, two, two one. one. Congratulations. All right, here, Bo is. Bo is responding. Yes, I am. Awesome. Congratulations, Bo. That's so cool. That's so cool. She's actually on there. All right, sick. Without further ado, the last. This person is going to take all this cash home. 1,000 euros. This transformation is like amazing. Transformation is crazy, man. He's actually already smiling on the transformation photo. He already knew that something was coming. My man, yeah? Yeah. Congratulations, man. Look at that. Look at him, look at him shining, man. He is, he is shining. Yeah? Yeah! Nice! Awesome! Alright man, so all the three winners are watching this live stream. That's so cool. Oh man, that was so cool. Um, that's such a good feel, man. Giving away 1,000 in these, you know, financially unstable times. Kind of feels even better, you know? Uh, it's really nice. And as I said already in the live stream, but I'm not sure if I cut that clip out. Um, we are doing another challenge, so you can be the next winner of 1,000 euros in cash, uh, wherever you're from, from the world, uh, because it is a worldwide challenge. I coach people in English as well as in Dutch, all right? And so I do the guys, Fien does the girls. If you're interested, check out all the details. Link is in my bio. So one of the last videos, I told you guys how, it, how hard it is to find equipment here in the Netherlands, you know, for building a home gym. Um, so I ordered a power rack, you know, and weeks later, they actually transferred the money back to me and they said, you know, like, I'm sorry, we don't have it. So um, there is gonna be a solution for now. This is gonna be a wooden power rack, all right? So I'm not like, I'm not gonna go way too heavy on this, right? Keep it reasonable. Shout out to Bobby Builder from uh, Nijmegen because he came up with this idea. A wooden power rack i'm gonna put it outside though so i also don't know how long it'll last but we just got to make something happen for now We just need some mats on the floor because we don't want to damage this floor right here. And I got the bumper plates as well. We get it. Yes. Awesome. Ah, the girls will use it for rest. <laughs> <laughs> After a hard day's work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, show them the boss. Bees moan. <laughs> Senior aesthetics in the building. Oh, oh. <laughs> Show. <Sure. laughs> <laughs> My dad is a smart guy. So what do we do here? Explain. Well, we have this nice rack to uh, exercise and we have the bench. And in order to store the bench, 
over here. The bench has wheels, so it would come out if uh, it was windy or something. So we made some things, and then we have a strap. And now uh, this way, you can just... Perfect. And then it's stable, and it doesn't move anymore. And then we put the... The coverage, and then uh, it's all stored uh, very dry. That's the idea. So yeah, just put together something real quick. Uh, pretty much didn't eat all day, only had a bowl of oats. And by now it's 4.30, all right? I wanna hit a workout in about an hour from now. Yeah, this only takes a few minutes to prepare. Piece of bread is nice though. I love this one. So this is the home gym setup right here, guys. Let me run through it. It was a very important part of it all because that allows me to do, you know, all the exercises like the bench press, you know, the squat. You can also do pull-ups if you like put the bar on top there and then do pull-ups, you know, from the bar. Haven't tried that out yet, but we'll do so. And then obviously I have the bench, you know, to do exercises like, you know, it's an adjustable bench, so I can do incline presses. I can do shoulder presses, regular flat bench with either dumbbells or the barbell. This should also go, hell yeah. It also goes on a decline, so that's pretty awesome. I love the decline bench. So we got those and we have this, you know, temporary barbell until my Olympic barbell comes in. So I'm not sure how much this barbell weighs yet. I'm gonna have to do that because an Olympic barbell is normally 20 kgs. This one is very light compared to that. And then I have four of these 20 kg bumper blades. So with an Olympic barbell, that will be 100 kgs. Uh, this by itself is obviously 80 kgs, but that is a lot more than I was able to live with, you know, before this, because I was doing home workouts with only these 15 kg dumbbells. Um, as well as the resistance bands, which I'll still be using as well, you know, for accessory work. I will use these little dumbbells for, you know, warm ups. And then I have a jump rope here for warm up as well, and also for hit cardio. That's it. That's the setup. Honestly, I can do a lot with this. All right. Would like to add some more weight, like some smaller uh, steps, increases in weight, like five kg and ten kg and two and a half. I did order those, but I'm not sure when they are coming in. They should come together with my Olympic barbell. And then here, you know, to finish it off, obviously, very important part blasting music and then this to put over it you know when it's raining and when i'm not here oh yeah one thing i forgot that's very important just realize it today is that i need some clips you know so i'll make sure to get those so for now i have to be a bit careful so yeah guys that's the home gym setup i'm about to hit my first workout right now you cannot even you know get the idea of how exciting this is so you can probably imagine it yourself if you're a gym rat and you're finally like able to lift with a barbell and some weights it's just gonna be a very good feel i'm 100 sure so i'm popping a big pre-workout right now gonna get in the zone actually not gonna film this i just want to be in a moment with myself freaking enjoy this right the first session has to be a good one obviously i just want to really get in the zone it's gonna be a leg day and then you know tomorrow or another day i'll definitely film my first workout here for you guys at the home gym here so let me know your thoughts let me know what you think in the comments down below make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated see more videos and i also still do like home workouts with the bands and little dumbbells and all that to make sure you guys at home can join as well because i understand that not everybody has the same equipment all right so make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe and i'll see you very soon peace out this complication spin my mind, but I know I gotta keep pushing through. Yeah, I keep doing my own thing. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it, and I'm never looking back again. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, 